Queen Elizabeth's only daughter. Princess Anne is the only member of the royal family had accompany the Queen's coffin to final resting in London ahead for her state funeral next week. Princess Anne was spotted on Sunday morning traveling with the Queen's coffin as the late monarch departed Balmoral for the final time. As her only daughter and someone who shares her love of horses, as well as her devotion to duty, the Princess Royal had always been one of Queen Elizabeth II's closest confidants. Although regarded as somewhat of a daddy's girl, thanks to her closeness and likeness to her father, the Duke of Edinburgh, Princess Anne swiftly became the one member of the royal family upon whom Queen Elizabeth could always rely. It has been confirmed that the Princess Royal is remaining close by her, her mother's side, even in her death. Princess will be the only one of the Queen's children to make the journey with the Queen's coffin from Edinburgh to London on Tuesday. Also in the convoy is Kenneth Mackenzie, the minister of Crathy Kirk, the church the royals attend when they're staying in Balmoral, along with a representative of the Lord Chamberlain's office. Mourners in Scotland have lined the streets to pay their respects to the Queen as her coffin travels from Balmoral to Edinburgh today. Public viewing of the coffin will start on Monday, before Princess Anne flies to London with her mother's body on Tuesday. The monarch's oak coffin left Balmoral Castle, where she died on the 8th of September, on Sunday morning around 10 a.m. local time. Draped with the Royal Standard of Scotland and featuring a wreath of Balmoral flowers on top, phlox, white heather and pine fir, it began its six-hour drive south to the Palace of Holyrood House in the Scottish capital of Edinburgh. On Monday. The late Queen's coffin will be adorned with the crown of Scotland and then be taken in a solemn procession up the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, in a procession to the city's street. Giles' is cathedral for a service. King Charles III will walk behind his mother's casket during the ceremony with his siblings, Princess Anne and her husband, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. It is expected that the Queen Consort, Camilla, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex will travel up to the cathedral service in transport behind the marches. The Queen will lie at rest at the cathedral for 24 hours until Tuesday, allowing the public to view her coffin. After this time is passed, the Queen's coffin will arrive at Edinburgh Airport, departing around 6 p.m. Princess Anne will travel with the coffin to RAF North Fault in West London ahead of the funeral in central London the following week. The coffin will then be transferred to Buckingham Palace, where it will be placed in the bow room. Buckingham Palace has said that Princess Anne will accompany the Queen's body on this flight. The Princess Royal will be accompanied by the very Reverend Prof David Ferguson, Dean of the Chapel Royal in Scotland, Buckingham Palace said. King Charles and Queen Camilla will be present for this stage of the journey. Once in the capital. The Queen's body will lie in state until her funeral on Monday, the 19th of September. She will then be taken by hearse to Windsor, where she will be laid to rest at St George's Chapel alongside the late Duke of Edinburgh. Princess Anne was spotted earlier this weekend attending a service at a church where the Queen was a frequent worshipper. The Princess Royal joined Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, were photographed outside the Scottish residence on Saturday, the 10th of September as they viewed an array of floral tributes that had been left in Elizabeth's memory. The siblings were joined by the Queen's granddaughters, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Zara Tyndall and Lady Louise Windsor, as well as grandson Peter Phillips. The group, who all wore black ensembles, also greeted the packed crowd of well-wishers during their Saturday outing. As the group mourned the loss of the beloved regent, who died on Thursday at the age of 96. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.